One, it's Terrence Gangster Williams, a.k.a. OG Giggity, a.k.a. Mr. Answer Right Back. Yo, yo, let's take a walk with me in the MILF. MILF Mean Projects. I got some steppers, some legends on this picture that I came in contact with at uh, some point in time in my bed on the streets. Oh, and I got to correct this, too, because y'all been getting on me, too. Uh, I came home January 3rd, 2022. I started YouTube May 15th, 2022. I said, oh, too. My bad, y'all know. That's why I said I need an intern. My bad. Anyway, but that ain't no excuse. I was slipping my bad. Let's get that right. 2022. Now, I came across this picture, which is, which is interesting because... Um, the guy on the left, uh, he's deceased. Three people is deceased on this picture, and one um, still alive and changed his life. And I want to share it with you all because this is some legendary uh, stuff, some 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 steppers um, from the mouth that had a name. And I'm going to start with the one with the blue shirt, Tall T, known to get money out the mouth. He had grown his dreads. A lot of people scared of him. You know, he used to make moves, do what he do. And um, sadly, he got caught up. It is rumored that he had uh, took a little dude's stash and a little guy caught him in a project lacking and, and killed him. Uh, they caught him lacking and killed him. Um, the other guy to the right with the yellow on Tehran, known step in the mouth, stayed fly in his days when he was getting money. Him and I had a, a run in. He got he wound up getting smashed in the Calio. The yo was so excited that uh, when they, they thought when they had just got into it with him, when they crushed him, that. They crushed the wrong guy. They thought he was one of the ones that spent the bin and hit one of their people up. And all the while, it wasn't him. It was someone else. But they, they crushed the innocent guy in that situation. But the guy who I'm talking about, the yellow on, he was a known stepper. Bust his gun. He ain't play either. So, um, yeah, they called him back to that Calio and crushed him. The guy at the bottom, Norris, good dude, money go getter. He um actually was my co-defendant in 1992 when I shot the guy out the mill. I mean, out the uh, tent ward around Club 49ers. Norris got locked up for that same charge and wound up taking probation. So he was with me on that situation. Norris, good person, get money, like I say, respectful dude. He got caught up at a female house. Her boyfriend had him, uh, come home, caught him in a car, and killed both of them. Norris out the mouth. And the last person that stand up in the middle Man, very respectful guy. Was in his time was feared. A lot of people were scared of him, but they respect him, and he always had that smile. Man, he always kept a smile. Guy, college guy, you know, from the mouth get money. It's allegedly said that he was the head of the Gotti Boys. Used to fund the Gotti Boys. One day I was I had got out of juvenile jail and I came through the MELF because the, the bus station was right behind the MELF. And I seen him. And the, the, the reason why I know him is because we both played football for Taylor Park. He was he a little older than I am, so he played on a uh, 130 at the time. I was playing for 110. And um he saw me and said, Little T man, let's such 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 know and know you that I got I got something. I'm like, all right, cool. So you good, you need something? I said, no, nah, I don't I don't wanna Get nothing from you, like, cause I wasn't cool, you know, 
good with working for somebody and older people at that time. So I was like, man, I don't think I need a gun. He was like, come back, come back here later on. I got something for you. I was like, all right, cool. So like about 10, 15 minutes later, he and the Magnolia. And I seen him. He said, man, thank you for passing that message. I was like, all right, it's all good. He was like, uh, don't forget what I told you, man. Whatever you need, come holler at me. But I got something for you. Come in the mouth. Lay on. So I go in the mouth. And uh, he had he sent one of the guided boys to go get these go get two guns. He come back with a forty five with a beam on it, and he come back with a nine with a thirty two round clip. Clip hanging out that day. I said, "Oh, give me this one. Give me the gun." I leave. About a year later, I had heard he had changed his life and, you know, in church now. I didn't believe it because, you know, we all from the hood. You know, we all, you know, come from the mud. But he always was a thinking, very intelligent, was in college. So one day we like the high regency. I don't know the name of the street. I don't know if it's Carondelet. Or if it's dry, and we go, he was facing, we was going towards the uh, Canal Street, but we was like right where Porridge at, right where that red light at, and we driving on that back street. It's tr two streets over from uh, where uh, the High Regency was at, and um, I see him. I blow the horn. He blow the horn. He smiles, shakes his head, keep going. He's driving his white van, the church van. So I thought about it, man, I need to get some, I need to get me some quick money right quick. So I, because he had them sprayed up a little bit from me. I speed up, case I bumped the home, man, roll the window. He rolled the window down. What's up? I said, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to send something to Frank Mignon right quick. You don't have nothing gone. He rolled the window up and whoop, bashed on the gas, pulled off. I was like, oh, man, this dude really changed his life and left the game. And now that I think back on it, he did it early in the game. He didn't wait till he went to jail and got caught up, go through a lot of stuff and say, man, I don't want no more. Man, left the game while he was in the height of his primes. It was a lot, like I said, it was a lot of people that were scared of him. A lot of people didn't even mention his name. And a lot of people respect him in that Mel for Mean project. A legend. He changed his life. And right down to this day, I don't think I heard he a preacher. I'm not sure, but I know he's in the church right now. He's in the church. He changed his life. And um, these guys, pictures that I come across, it was interesting because I happened to have some kind of dealings or run in with all four of these guys that's on the picture. Y'all know the motto say no to drugs, stop the violence, put the guns down. Got the nonprofit organization called They Need Us. I just wanted to share some light on the MELF because MELF has some steppers that come out of that project and no one right now is representing for the MELF Main project. And they didn't have some money go get us and some steppers to come from that project. So um, that's all for now. Oh, make sure y'all upload that. Uh, Upload, download, whatever. Just put it on your TV. Uh, uh, The Roku app. Uh, Terrence Gangster with your network. So y'all support me now. Put that in. Y'all got small TVs at home. Go ahead and put that up there. I got a lot of this stuff on there. You know, I'm out here. Oh, and I got another big surprise coming up. I'm announced. But not right not right now. Because right now I'm in talks right now with a deal. But as soon as I get it done, I will let you guys know. But that's all for now. I'm out. One.